I'm Gordy Zim. I'm the uh, timer for the Etchell World's uh, international race. I cue myself off of the PRO. He tells me when to go into the attention mode. And then once the, that attention, then I'm the one that sort of runs the deck, tells people when to raise flags, lower flags. The flags are the signals. Basically, the sound is not the signal because the line is so long, it's almost a mile long, that they can't hear the sound. There's a three-second delay at the far end. So they really have to look at the flag. So when the horn and the flag go up at the same time, they have to be up at the same time because those next to the boat and those at the other end are looking at different things or listening for different things. Oh, yeah, it started out kind of like they waited, for, they postponed us for a while, and they were waiting for the sea breeze to fill in. The reality is the sea breeze filled in during the course of the entire day. Uh, I mean, it was still filling in on the last beat. It was yeah. kind of a slow process. It took a long time. Well, marine layers all the way back in again. Okay. Lured end of the line was favored, so it paid to be down there, but you had to get back to the right and cross over. If you didn't get across reasonably quickly, then um, the right paid at the end big. And a lot of that was probably right shift pressure, and the other part of it was probably current. It was bad on the left, so uh, so all the way around, it, the right came in big at the end of the beat. And that was that was really the race. The run was a yeah, and nothing changed. It was. Yeah, paid to go down the left side of the run for the most part. Typical leaders were gone. I don't know what happened with them. Uh, paid to go, you know, we gained a lot of boats just mm -hmm. by going down, left jiving, yeah. going down the left side of the run. But I mean, that, you know, it's that much, we were part of a different race than the leaders. But that caught us up like 20 boats, maybe 25 on the run. <laughs>